With schools back up and running here in Scotland, I don't have a lot of time to dedicate to astrophotography and filming. However, I did manage to get out last night and in this video, I'm gonna tell you how I had a bash at M31, the Andromeda Galaxy. Just before we get going, I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters who have made financing equipment up until now possible, which I can then later review for you guys on the channel. If you'd like to consider supporting my astro endeavours a little bit further, there is a link down in the description um, which leads to my Patreon page. By pledging an amount of your choice, you automatically get access to my YouTube videos up to two days early and astro advice over email. If you like the sound of that, click the link in the description. So M31 is a barred spiral galaxy 2.5 million light years away from Earth, which is relatively close considering I've done targets like Pinwheel and Whirlpool, which are in the 20 millions um, of light years away. So as you can imagine, because it's quite bright in the sky, um, any long exposure work, you'd have to do two different sets for the core and for the bars and the dust lanes, if you see what I mean, which meant I had to do 60 second exposures. I would have done longer, but here is why I, I didn't, I didn't do longer. So I came to the conclusion last night that PhD2 really doesn't like me. And the reason being is I've been out two nights now and um, the two nights I lost my guide settings in a software fail and I got them all back. Like all the settings are the same. But now PhD2 is deciding to just throw a 30 RMS error graph at me. As you can see here, I managed to get it under control for I kid you not five seconds and then it went a bit bonkers again. Any suggestions down in the comments would be much appreciated. That didn't stop me getting a photo of the Andromeda galaxy. I got 60, 60 second shots. So in the end, I got an hour. The camera sensor, uh, I put at minus 10 because in these sort of summer, autumn nights, it's still a little bit warm. So when it's winter um, and the sensor can cool down easier, I'll be going minus 15, minus 20. The last and final thing um, is I've been working on my processing recently quite a fair bit. I've really been hammering into that and I've been going, I've been editing on a by channel basis. So I've been editing the channels separately. So the red, green and the blue um, all separately and then bringing them together. I'm going to do a whole other Photoshop tutorial on a by channel basis. For now though, I'm going to leave you with the shortest video ever, but I think it might be my best photo. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. But until then, happy stargazing, stay safe and clear skies.